The match was billed a replay of last year's grand final. In fact, it turned out to be a reversal of last year's grand final. Hey, I was watching that. Oh, Tom. Oh, Lee, that's rude. Eileen, haven't you got homework to do? No, I've Already? Yeah, I didn't have much. Oh, all right, then. Come into the kitchen and help me with the dinner. Oh, there's someone at the door. You just said you wanted help in the kitchen. Oh, go on, then. I'll answer it myself. Oh, Mrs. Mangles. What a surprise. Come in. Thank you, Mrs. Mitchell. I just brought my granddaughter around to meet everyone. Uh, Tom, Mrs. Mangles here. So I see. Well, put your paper away. It's rude to read when we have guests. Now, this is Jane. Jane, this is Mrs. Mitchell and Mr. Ramsey. Hello. Good day, love. Hello, dear. It's very nice to meet you. Jane will be staying with us for a few weeks while her parents are away. They're in Hong Kong, you know. Oh! Janey, great to see you. What are you doing here? Look, come to the kitchen so we can talk. You two know each other already, do you? That's odd. I've never heard Charlie mention Jane. No. Have you heard anything to that old bat about me where to school with? No. Are you sure? Of course I haven't. You better not. Otherwise, I'll flatten you. Do you understand? Yeah. I mean it. You won't have a nose to put your glasses on. Just don't dot people in, Charlie. No, we don't. And the name is Lenny. Straight A's in every subject. She's ducked to the school, always has been. Such an intelligent child. Oh, that's marvellous. Isn't it, Tom? Yes, yes, marvellous. From what you tell me, she's obviously a very dedicated student. I wish Charlene would take a leaf out of her book. <laughs> well, nature always compensates, doesn't it? She's got intelligence to make up for the plain looks. <laughs> I'd better start taking ugly pills. 